You've been fighting the enemy far away from your forward operating base. And as you fire your weapon, you hear the dreaded click and the bolt locks to the rear showing that there's no ammunition left. You detach the magazine and find that you have no more ammunition on your load-bearing equipment or in your vehicle. It doesn't look good for resupply. What are you going to do? You're out of ammo. You're far away from base. The only ammo that you do have is some ammunition you've captured from the enemy. How are you going to shoot this ammunition in your M16? This 7.62 by 3.9 Russian? You can't. But what you can do is already have Russian weapons with you. Instead of taking the weapons as they are with their wooden furniture and using them captured as you pick them up on the battlefield, you could be prepared beforehand with your own accurized and modernized Russian weapon. Here's an SKS with a plastic stock that has a folding feature, so you can fold it so it takes less space up inside your vehicle, and is more accurate because it has a pistol grip. So it gives the type of accuracy that we're used to as Americans. You can put all the reflex and night sights that you want on top of it also, so it gives night and day accuracy. But the thing that makes the SKS special is the way that it can be reloaded. You can use a detachable box magazine like the AK-47 AKM has, or if you don't have any magazines, it can fed, be fed with stripper clips from the top, because unlike any other weapon, it has a slot on top on the open bolt, so you can load the 10-round stripper clips. You put the stripper clip inside, press down, and keep feeding stripper clips until the magazine is completely full. As you can see here, this 20-round magazine is completely full, and it's ready to fire. You can keep adding stripper clips and keep the magazine inside to continue to fire fight, or the magazine can be detached by hitting this clip release right there. This is called the duck bill. You can get an attachment from Rifle Tech to fit inside your SKS so you won't need magazines with duck bills anymore, which is another option. So the beauty of the SKS is it can be reloaded by the box magazine or from the top using stripper clips, which is an amazing capability if you think about it. And it's exactly what the U.S. Army needs if it's caught in a situation where U.S. ammunition is not able to be resupplied to our soldiers. Our soldiers should have a Plan B Russian-made weapon like this as their backup gun. After you've loaded all your ammunition inside, all you have to do is pull back slightly on the charging handle and release, and that will bring the bolt home so you're ready to fire the weapon. But one other beauty of the SKS, unlike the AKM, is that after the weapon has cycled all the rounds, the bolt holds to the rear. So that way you know that you're out of ammunition. The AKM doesn't do that. The only way you know that the AKM is out of ammunition is when the bolt is forward and you hear a click from the hammer dropping on no ammunition. So the SKS, in many ways, is superior to the AKM. It's got a longer barrel for a higher muzzle velocity and longer range, and it can load from either the top or the bottom using stripper clips or box magazines. Clearly, the SKS should be the U.S. Army's Plan B backup gun in case resupply fails.